tour of my carded vintage and retro collection. All coming up on the next Action Collectibles and More video. What's up everyone, it's Michael here from Action Collectibles and More. And uh, today I'm going to share with you my uh, carded vintage collection and retro collection. Mostly everything's on the wall. Not everything, unfortunately, but I'm still in the process of doing that. But I've been building my collection over the last year or so, my carded collection anyway. And um, most of the figures I have on the wall are in mint condition and some of them are punched as well. Uh, I'll go through that in a minute, but um, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, more toy hunts, top 10, a whole bunch of good fun stuff, some contests thrown in there. Uh, so make sure you subscribe. But now let's get right into the uh, to the wall. I'm all right, so I am gonna start in the top left corner of the wall, and that's where my vintage collection begins. And it begins with the um, Star Wars cards. I like to keep them um, by movie. So this one is a Unpunch one, R5-D4. Love that card back. And yeah, this is Unpunch and really good condition, this figure. It's in a star case, obviously, but yeah, it's like one of my nicest cards. And then there's a R2. He's from the newer. Figures and then there's a Death Star droid just sitting on the shelves at Olive right now for 10 bucks if only needs them. And then these are Walmart exclusives Tuscan Raider. And then yeah, this guy here. And then this figure is unpunched and really good condition. And this figure is getting harder and harder to find in good condition. Uh, but this one is nice. And there's another unpunched Sand Trooper. This one does not come with an offer on it. Uh, but it does come unpunched and punched, and this is the unpunched version. And there's the other Sand Trooper, the a lot easier one to get. This one is punched. Wood offer. And then here you have Darth Vader, again, unpunched. You know, one of the, um, I think was, this was the first, I mean, no, this is the second released Vader in the Vintage Collection line. The Empire Strikes Back one was the first one. And then for a newer figure, this one is going up in price. This is the Yavin Lair. It's going around the mid-30s. There's a, there's a variation when, uh, on this figure with a different um, number on the back. I think they had like, the wrong number or something. That one's going for higher. This is the, the correct one. And they have the Rebel Fleet Trooper, which comes unpunched as well. With an offer. And there's the new Stormtrooper from, from Walmart. And then you have two Luke and Stormtrooper and Hand Stormtrooper together. And I'm going to go back up and see... Some more of the Star Wars cards. We have uh, Jawa. And this guy, he comes unpunched. And I remember <clears throat> when he first came out, he was like one of the cheapest figures to get. Get him for like 10 bucks, but now he's creeping up in price, especially an unpunched one. So there's Chewbacca. If you want to know some of the price of these figures we're going for, I have this video, top 10 most expensive figures. And that might have changed because I did that video a couple months ago. But if you want to check it out. And there's the uh, Luke Skywalker and X-Wing. And there's the Vader, the first Vader that came out in the first wave of the Vintage Collection. And this one does come on punch, but I only have the punch one with sticker. And then there's a Stormtrooper that comes with the Freezing Chamber. Nice card back. It's the same Stormtrooper from on that one, but obviously didn't card back. And there's Hand and Bespin and Lando and Bespin. That's sitting in probably every store right now. Just hanging the pegs, warming the pegs up. And then there's a Lobo. And then there's Escape Layer. I'm not sure about that figure. I don't like that card back too much. He is kind of like dark. It doesn't really stand out. And then you have the Yoda from Empire Strikes Back. It came out last year. And then this is a, another figure. These two figures are part of the first wave of the Vintage Collection. And I believe that this one does not come unpunched. Uh, I mean, maybe I could be wrong. I have not seen it. But this one has an offer. And there's another Walmart exclusive that came out uh, early this year, or well, the end of last year, is the this one. One of my favorite cardbacks. I mean, out of the both our twos, there's one here. I just showed you already. And this one here is an amazing. I love the cardback in that one. And there's Luke Hop. This is the uh, second edition. This one comes unpunched as well. I don't have it. And then there's the rest of the Walmart. These are uh, security, best security guards from Walmart. And 
Mobile Empire right here. You have the Cloud Cod pilot. And there's a Boba Fett, part of the first wave as well. This one does come on punch and he's very pricey. This one is punched. And then there's a Falloon. CPPO. And there's a layer in Bespin I got recently, and that one is unpunched and looking pretty awesome. I love that card back a lot. I prefer this card back better than this one here. And another card back that I really love is this uh, Luke Skywalker and Dagobah. What an awesome card back, and this one comes unpunched as well. And there's a reissue of the Echo Base. Soldier, I don't have the unpunched one. This one comes unpunched as well. This one is the new one that you probably get for like 10 bucks now. And then this Rebel Hot Soldier was the came out in the first wave of the new the new vintage collection back in 2017. It was part of the Snoke and Ray and wave that didn't sell. But this one was pretty pretty hard to get in the beginning because it was the only figure that everybody wanted. All right, I'm gonna go back up top and start doing Return of the Jedi cards. This is part of that three pack that came out a couple years ago. Now you have another Skiff God. Wolf, this is the second issue. This one comes in punch as well, but this one is the new one. And then this figure here, which is awesome figure. Again, this is the second issue of it. They have a unpunched version of this with two different offers. So you get there's one with the Boba Fett offer, and I think there's one with the the Darth Maul maybe. I think one comes with a Darth Maul offer as well. But I am in the I want to get one of those, and I don't know when I'm gonna get it, but because they're very pricey, especially the loose ones. The loose ones actually go in for as, almost as much as the card ones because everybody wants it for a job of scene. And there's the return of like Boba Fett, amazing figure. Great card back came out a couple years ago. And there's Hot Hand Carbonate and the Reheats that come in the Jabba's playset. And then you have this Skiff card here. And then you have Wike. And another unpunched figure right here. This one is offer list. It does come on an offer as well, but I have the unpunched version of this figure and this is this figure i've had for a long time it's one of my favorites i love r2 it's my favorite star wars characters and yeah i have all three of them and then there's luke and there's one of the most um sought after figure in the vintage collection is a uh, slave layer and this one comes unpunched with offer and in really good condition And there's Bib, one of the newer figures. And then there's another Skiff. And then there's Luke and Endor right there. Back up top here, and there, and there is another Skiff. Yak Face, this is the new issue of Yak Face. He got issued twice in, the, in, in, the, in a short period of time. So it's a great figure. Not sure if we needed him again, but and there's Lando and Skiff. Love this card back. Prefer this card back over the other Landos. And then there's a uh, Leia Bausch, whatever you call it. Nice figure. And this amazing Vader right now next to this Vader. So we have two Vaders right now, two Return of Jedi Vaders. Um, there's another one that's a variation of the, I think the Empire one I don't have, but this is the Death Star 1, Death Star 1 they call it, and this one comes unpunched. And a really neat looking figure, I mean, it looks great in the packaging. You take it out, it's not as nice, but just a really nice present presentation. And then you have this one next to it, I mean, that's just epic right there. Having those two together, amazing. This one just came out in the, um, a few months ago. And then the Imperial Gunner, and then the Scout Shooter that comes in the, in the, in the with the bike set. Came out earlier this year. Amazing figure. And there's Wicket. And then this one's unpunched as well. Yeah, it's unpunched with offer. And this is part of the Walmart exclusive wave. Uh, along with some of the Ewoks. Here's another one that came with the Walmart exclusive. I think I'm missing two Ewoks. I, think I got these three. I'm missing two. Uh, yeah. 
All right, so then we got almost return jet uncovered. We'll go back up top. This is the new Han Solo with next to Admiral Akbar and they have the ATST and the Endor Rebel Commander and then Luke Skywalker Endor. Admiral Peart came out earlier this year. Classic card back, love it. And then I have these two Royal Guards. So this is the first issue of Royal Guard, um, the unpunched version of it. And I have both of them here because they're, 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 they're variations. They're like really, I mean, not only is it unpunched versus punched, you know, the presentation is so much different on this one. This one has all the accessories up top. And he has his, um, his pike across his body, but this one is kind of hiding everything. It's funny because I like the, the way this one is in the bubble. But I like obviously the unpunched one, and I like the fact that this bubble is, is slimmer than this one. So you see more of the of the picture. So anyway, I own them both. This one's more money than this one. But this one's keep creeping up on price, actually. And it came out only like about two years ago. And then there's the two V's again next to the Emperor, which just came out not too long ago. And then you have the TIE Fighter pod, the first issue of the TIE Fighter pod that has, this is unpunched with a sticker. This is getting hard to get. I'm trying to get this one for a while. I have the new one. I don't have it on the wall right now, but actually it's pretty banged up and I might just open it. I'm trying to get that one to put next to it because it's, the figure is different. I mean, not a lot of differences, but there is some differences in that one. It obviously is not um, unpunched and doesn't come in an offer, but... Um, here's another one that's pretty tough to get. This one comes in, and both these come like Revenge of the Jedi as well, but I'm only doing Return of the Jedi cards right now. Unpunched with offer. And then there's a hand trench coat. And I think that ends the original trilogy right now. I have some prequel figures I'm starting to get as well. Let's get into them right now. So we have from the Phantom Menace, we have the reissue of Queen Amidala, and then we have Anakin Skywalker. This is reissue two, but this one is the an older one because it has the offer on it. Here is an Obi Wan Kenobi, and these Phantom Menace figures are going to go up. I mean, when I first came out, they made so many of them they couldn't even give them away free, but now they're going for some good money. Especially, obviously, the unpunched version of this figure. It's a nice one. This one comes with a card back, and then Darth Maul has been reissued. But this is the first issue one. With the Darth Maul offer and the unpunched. And then you got Battle Droid. I think this is the reissue. So this one got reissued. And then down here is so that's it for Phantom Menace. And then we have some Attack of the Clones figures in this one. Uh, Barris Offy. Again, unpunched with sticker, starting to move up in price. This one's the reissue of Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones. And then this is the reissue of Mace Windu. So both these figures do come unpunched with offers, but I chose to go with the cheaper ones on these for now. And then we have more Attack of the Clones. We have Anakin Skywalker. This is the new, this is the new, this is the reissue of Anakin Skywalker. And then this is the new one you know, the new figure and the new card back came out uh, last year. All right, so I got more daylight here. Open up the window. I usually keep the the blinds closed in this room because I don't want the sun to come in here and ruin things, but that glare is really annoying me. So, uh, for my light. So anyway, now we get into the really good stuff. Attack of the Clones, Unpunched, Django Fett. Beautiful, beautiful card. This one's like, again, another one that's in really good condition with um, Offer and Unpunched. Then you have the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Look at that card back. Beautiful. And unpunched. Amazing card back. Okay, so that's the end of my Attack of the Clones figures. I definitely need more of those. Uh, but then starts the Revenge of the Sith figures that I have. And these are, this is my favorite movie from the prequels. And uh, the unpunched version of Darth Vader. So this is the, an Anakin Skywalker figure on a Darth Vader card. It's a variation. I don't have the Anakin Skywalker one, um, but hopefully soon I'll, I'll grab him. And then another really nice figure, Commander Gray. These these figures are 
getting really hot to get unpunched. They're not redoing a lot of the prequel figures, as you can see. They're doing a lot of Clone Wars or putting the figures on Clone Wars cards. This is a nice one. And then you have Avengers Seth Yoder. Again, this one is unpunched with sticker. And then you have um, this figure. Is, this is the Avengers Sith version. And this figure got retooled a little bit and came out in a Clone Wars card. But this one is the first issue unpunched with sticker. Nice presentation there. And then we go up on top here, and then we have more of um, Avengers Sith figures here. This is the figure that me and Dylan picked up together at a toy show last year. Pretty sure the video is still up there. Got a really good price on this. And then this is my um, one of my newest figures I got. It's Doc Sidious. Don't think he comes on punch. I know he comes in the in a chrome. This is the regular one. But sticker. Got this at a toy show a couple months ago with Dylan as well. Different toy show. And this is the Magna God punched. They do come unpunched, this one, but I have the punch version. And there's another great figure, General Grievous. Again, this, this is punched. Okay, so that is it for my original trilogy and prequels. It's taken up most of this wall here in the back here. You can see how much real estate it takes up. So here's the, the wall and then Got some more room for more. But then starting up here, I have some Clone Wars figures. And I got some Clone Wars I started collecting. Yeah, I got the Ahsoka figure and there's a, an Anakin, Clone Wars, and then a Maul. And so just just started doing Clone Wars a little while ago. And I had this uh, Boba Fett figure I picked up. You see how it's gonna go. All the figures are gonna go around the wall back, back there, maybe up here. I got some more space. I got a lot of space right now. All right, so here is my Carter Retro collection. Um, I am waiting for more star cases so I can start putting these on the wall. There's the uh, Star Wars and New Hope ones, and these are the ones that come in the box set. So we have Stormtrooper, and then we have the second box set that came out earlier this year, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Tusken Raider, and you have um, the shiny C-3PO along with R2, Death Star Commander, and then Jawa. So I'm really loving that set. And then you have um, some of the Empire Strikes Back figures. I have Han Solo, Leia, Yoda. If there's any figure that is going up in price, it's uh, this one right here, Yoda. She's, he's, he's near 40 right now. So, And then here's the Amazon exclusive figures, Empire Strikes Back figures, RG-88, Dengar, Bosk, and it's Boba Fett. These came in the Amazon exclusive sets. Oh, and along with Zuckus and Forloom with the, you know, the misprint here. And then I have some Return Jedi cards. Luke and Jedi, Biker Scout, Lair, the Emperor, and then Hand Trench Coat. So I'm missing, I'm missing two Landos, believe it or not. I gotta get the Empire Lando and the Lando Skiff, and I'm missing Luke and Bespin. And then I'm missing the two exclusives that come with the games, the uh, Grandma of Talking and Luke Dagobah. Here's the, the original trilogy wall and the prequel wall. I'm going to move my Clone Wars figures um, right up against here and start doing Clone Wars over there. And I'm gonna put up my retro figures up there along the walls on top. And I'm gonna have more shelving for, for loose stuff. And um, so room is finally getting put together until I move again. Yeah, as long as I enjoy it now, that's all that matters, right? Anyway, so, yeah. That's how it's looking right now, looking pretty good. I like to keep it nice and neat and organized, and, um, yeah. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little tour there. There's definitely gonna be an update uh, in a few months, so like I said, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna get these retro figures in you know, star cases and, you know, put them up. You know, the other figures like Book of Boba Fett and, and you know, Clone Wars I'm, I'm attacking right now. Book of Boba Fett, I, I might pick up some of the cards. I'm not sure, I have no sequel trilogy figures. I'm really just concentrating on, like I said, original trilogy and prequels, and some of those figures are really um, very pricey. I will keep you guys updated in the Carter collection. Probably gonna do uh, more toy hunts in the future. So like I said, make sure you subscribe and, and like this video. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching and putting comments below. Uh, definitely means a lot. All right, so that's it for now. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend. And like always, 
Go get yourself some action figures.